So in this one, this is a horrible drawing of a uh, of what we call a cylinder. Now again, this is another example of a prism. Um, again, what we're looking into, having the same base and the same top, and having that just be elongated. So what I would do is to show that it is a prism, if, if I was to take this cylinder and put it onto its circular base, it would look something like that, correct? All right. And therefore, you guys could see that this length would be two yards. And then here, you guys can see that the radius of the top and the bottom is three yards. All right. So again, when we're trying to identify um, the surface area of a cylinder, we need to find the area of the base, which is going to be exactly the same as the top. So I'm just going to write that out in a two-dimensional. And this represents the top and the base. When we're finding the surface area of a um, of, a of a prism or of a cylinder, we know that the top and the base are always going to be the same. So we want to make sure that we can adjust them so we have them sitting on the base that's the same as the top. So now we need to find the area of this circular base. Well, to find the area of this, we know that we have pi r squared because it's a circle, right? And we're going to have two of them, correct? We have the top and the base. So I'm going to multiply this by two. All right. Then what we notice is we need to find the length of the side. So I take this kind of can, and this is what I showed last class period. We have the top and we have the base, right? Originally, this is shown like this. What we're going to do is we're going to put it onto its base, the circular base, which is the same as the top. You guys know how to find the area of this. Now we need to find the area of what's wrapped around the cylinder. So first thing what I'm going to do is if I go ahead and peel this off, all right, this figure is the shape of a what? What is the figure? What is wrap A rectangle, right? It's a rectangle. So we know how to find the area of a rectangle, right? We know what the height is, right? You guys, the height, the height is the height of the cylinder, which we know, which is two yards. However, the other thing, to find the area of a rectangle, we need to know the base and the height. Well, we know the height, right? We know the height, but we need to find the length of this base. So what I do again is I look at and say, all right, what is the length of that base? Well, if I wrap that around a circle, the length of the base is equal to what dimension of a circle? Starts with the C, ends with the frince, huh? Circumference. Circumference. So we're going to add this to two yards. And then we need to remember what circumference is. Remember, circumference equals diameter times pi. So the circumference, if here is 3 is my radius, remember diameter equals 2r. So I double that, so it's going to be 6 times pi. So this is 2 yards times 6 pi. So that's going to be plus base times height, where it's 2 yards times 6 times pi yards. All right. So now let's just plug in what we know. Area equals 2 times pi times radius squared, which is 3 squared, plus base times height. My base is 6 pi times 2. So now I just take my lovely calculator. And I'm going to add these up all together in my calculator. So I'll have 2 times pi times 3 squared plus 6 times pi times 2. And my final area, answer for my area, equals 94.25 when I round it to the hundredth. And that is going to be yards squared. OK? Anybody have any questions on that?